When searching for a new job, especially as a college student, many positions will promote flexibility. But what does that mean? Do you make your own schedule? Is your manager just understanding of your other obligations? If an emergency comes up, will you be able to call out last minute? Flexibility can mean a lot of different things. There can be flexibility in a position with your other obligations, like school or another job. There's flexibility for working remotely, and there's flexibility to actually make your own schedule and work or not work when you want to. So what is it for a position with vector marketing? Well. It's all of the above. When you see an ad for a position with vector marketing, it may seem like it's too good to be true. High starting pay, flexibility with your schedule, no experience needed. There's no way that's real, right? I'm here to tell you it is. It says 17 or older, opportunity to advance. It just tells you everything you want to hear. No training necessary, no experience, you know? Oh, and by the way, that person that you just saw, they're what we like to call a heard it. Someone that heard about the position with our company, did some research online, but never actually interviewed, and instead allowed themselves to be influenced by complete strangers online instead of going and making their own decisions. But you're just a complete stranger influencing me instead of making my own decision. What I really want to do is empower you to make your own choices. Give you some examples of people who actually tried it and decide for yourself what you want to do. Take Lauren, for example. I heard some things about Vector that weren't the greatest. There is a lot of negative press out there claiming that Vector marketing is a scam or a pyramid scheme, uh, but thankfully, I knew better. I have had friends and family that have worked for Vector Marketing. I was looking for something flexible that I could do part-time throughout the year and then more full-time in the summer. I am a teacher, so I am working on a nine-month contract as a teacher and wanted something as a little bit of supplemental income during the school year and then something that I could do full-time in those three months of summer when I'm not teaching. This isn't even her full-time job. She's a teacher who wants to take advantage of her time off in the summers and some free time during the school year. So when I was looking for something to be flexible during the school year and full-time in the summer, Cutco instantly came to mind um, knowing that they work a lot with students in the vector marketing program as well. There is that flexibility. So it seemed like a great fit. And many of our other representatives have the same idea when it comes to balancing obligations, like school with their work schedule. Let me introduce you to Gabe. Hi everyone, my name is Gabe. I'm an aerospace engineering major. He sold $15,000 in his first two weeks. And the thing that intrigued him the most, well, was the pay, of course, everyone is intrigued by the pay, but also the flexibility of the schedule. It allowed me to invest time in myself to earn more money and I'm very goal oriented so that really gave me an opportunity to shine. Also the fact that I have classes at the most random times. I have five hour gaps in the middle of my day so I can fit a few demos in there and really make something happen so I get a good pay for the week and a good turnout. Now just because the schedule was a perfect fit for Lauren didn't mean she didn't have some things that she was worried about. I'm an introvert. I don't love talking to people on the phone, especially if they're people I haven't talked to in a long time, or if they're people that I don't know at all. But I will say Vector has been great about providing phone scripts, managers that have much more experience in this sales practice and can give me tips and tricks of the trade along the way as well. Also, it really helps that we have that referral process. So even when I'm making a call to someone I don't know, it's never truly a cold call. An introvert in sales? No way. Yes way. <laughs> That's a thing. Sometimes you might find that it's not even the hurt it's that talks you out of something. And that is how you know it's a scam. <laughs> Most of the time, it's ourselves. We're the best salespeople when it comes to convincing ourselves not to do something. Maybe it's time to look for reasons to take action and actually find out for yourself.